All right, hello, welcome fellow coder to this next lesson in our series. Uh, in this one, we're gonna be diving into uh, changing our view for our dashboard for a code reviewer, uh, such that we have three separate sections of statuses for the different code reviews and sort of where they are. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be a, a mix of uh, dealing with queries on the back end with Spring Data JPA, as well as dealing with view related stuff with components on the front end with React. So if that sounds good to you, stick around. All right, fellow coders, let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do here is modify our query, um, as I promised. Uh, our query, let me just stop the server here. Um, but, 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 uh, in the assignment repo here, this is the one, this is the que query we run when we are uh, collecting the assignments to be displayed on screen for the code reviewer. Right now, as you can see, it's filtering only by status equals submitted. So what this is going to do is we're only going to see assignments, excuse me, in the submitted status. What we also want to see is we also want to see videos that are assigned to our current user. Okay, so we can call this the code reviewer if you want to be more explicit in terms of the user. So we want to also see that. So we can modify our query here to say, hey, select star from assignment A. Um, I'll hit enter uh, and say where status is submitted or uh, assignment, uh, what's the field that, or the uh, code reviewer or a.codereviewer equals, and then we use colon code reviewer as a way to inject the value of this variable into here. Okay. So this a.codereviewer comes from assignment a means assignment so assignment.codereviewer's type is user so we have a user code reviewer being compared to a here user code reviewer so users are being compared to users we are good and it is an or so we're going to get those that are submitted as well as those that are assigned to code reviewers okay so we'll boot up our server again so now on this page we should get more data shown so we should see ones that are submitted and ones that are in review um, if i have done this correctly so there you go we have ones that are in review as well as submitted now in the this uh, screen right now it's all being shown in the awaiting review section which is not exactly true because these are already in review so what I want to do is I want to create a section that has in review, a section that has awaiting review and a section that says, you know, needs update or whatever. So um, those are the three different uh, air, uh, sections that I want to display on the dashboard. So the first one is where? The first one is here, right? Assignment wrapper submitted, um, awaiting review, blah, blah, blah. So why don't we why don't we turn this, this in, inline style? Whenever you have more than like, two inline style um, prop two properties that are uh, or CSS properties that are in line. Generally, it's good to extract this out to a separate class. So let's extract this out to a separate class and we'll call this the um, this is the title. So this is the assignment wrapper title. So we'll go to the app.css. Oh, we'll call this assignment wrapper title. Boom. And then we need to transform this into the appropriate CSS values. Why is this angry with me? Why is that angry? Oh, right. Semicolons. Semicolon, semicolon. Trans translating from, uh, oh, in white space, translating from um, React CSS to actual native CSS is obviously a pain. Um, so as you can see there, it looks good. Um, oh, sorry, let me, let me get rid of that inline style. Now it's gonna look bad. Boom, it's not what we want. Um, and then let's add in the assignment wrapper title and that should push it back up. 
it should push it back up. <laughs> assignment. Assignment wrapper title. App. Assignment wrapper title. Div class. Did I... Oh, I put it on the wrong one, I think. Assignment wrapper title should be here on in this class name. No. I mean... I'm pretty sure it should be, but let's double check the, uh, why is CSS always the bane of my existence? So, assignment wrapper title, oh, they're all being rejected, why? Invalid property value? Excuse me? Why is that an invalid proper, sorry, I'm getting distracted for a second, let me just make sure everything's okay. So, hmm. Okay, sorry, I had an email <coughs> that came in, I had I got distracted. So, um, yeah, why is this not, uh, why is the CSS not being applied? So it is, it's saying um, that's an invalid property value. But I mean, I would argue, now these are all, I would argue that if I took these properties and pasted them up here, that they would work, but I mean, that's odd. Why wouldn't they? I'm missing something. Oh, they shouldn't have, um, they shouldn't have quotes. Again, failed to properly convert. Oy vey. So, uh, over here, uh, app CSS, uh, as you can see up here, we don't have the, the double quotes. Um, that's annoying. <laughs> so clearly I don't do this enough, uh, where I take my inline style and then convert them over, uh, appropriately so anyway okay so I updated it and it's still not applying it correctly so uh, the margin top is being blown away by what by some h3 so the h3 is being so I hate I hate to do this but this is sort of the solution is to make them important there, so now it's overriding the H3 CSS and it is, um, yeah, it's overriding it. So we're saying, hey, this is more important than anything, uh, which is essentially what we had before when you have inline style, that inline style takes precedence over any other styling. Um, but because now we moved it into an external class, it's, anyway, it is what it is. So uh, we will now create those two other containers, if you will, um, to hold the reviews. So let's see, going back to our code review dashboard. So we have this assignment wrapper for submitted assignments, right? Now we wanna create another one for those that are in review. So let me uncomment this. Um, by the way, control forward slash toggles between commented in and commented out. Commented in, is that the opposite of commented out? uncommented so um we can have an assignment wrapper for those that are in review so what we can do is we can have this guy copy paste and we can say in review right so we'll have another little guy for in review um and now we want to populate this the stuff in here for assignments that are in review so basically we want to say assignments and assignments dot or no sorry assignments question mark and then we can say if we have assignments then we can sort of do all this stuff now this is going to be copy pasting and i definitely obviously don't recommend doing exactly what i'm about to do um, we will need to refactor this later because yeah we should replace this stuff with a component but for the sake of brevity for these um uh, uh which call it uh, uh videos i want to Get, get it done first and then refactor later, which is, I mean, that's not a terrible idea in the real world either. You get it done first and then refactor later. That's kind of the, the pattern for test-driven development, so to speak. So, cool. So now we'll have duplicates, right? We have the duplicates, we have these in review, and then we have a, another set of duplicates. So the fix here to get rid of the duplicates is we don't want to show all the assignments. We want to only show the assignments that our, we want to filter them essentially. We want to say filter first the assignment based on the status. So we want the assignment status that is equal to 
and then whatever the status is for this. This is in review, in review. So when we save that, boom. So now you see we only have two now in review. And then same thing for the one below. It's as simple as adding a filter, saying assignment, assignment.status, triple equals, and then this one is submitted, I think, right? Ta-da! So now we have one that's in review and we have one that is submitted, okay? So, and then finally, we can do the exact same thing for one more container down here. So assignment wrapper for the ones that need updating and we can copy paste everything. So here down to here, copy paste. And then uh, instead of awaiting review, this will say uh, needs update. And so assignments filter needs update. Right, and then needs update is empty right now. So basically we should also maybe do something for when it is empty, which is right here. Um, so instead of having, you know, this guy here, we'll just have a little div maybe that says, um, no assignments found. Hmm, what? Oh, right, because uh, this, uh, is based off of this guy. Uh, it's based off of, and there are assignments, so it's not going into the else portion here. So it's more like we want to say, if we, if we have no, uh, this is going to be a little redundant again. So we'll have, we'll do the filter assignments and assignments dot filter needs update dot is it count greater than zero there we go no assignments found right so we're, we're doing a bit of duplication of code there but again we'll refactor this and we can do the same thing for all the other ones so assignments here uh for uh assignments and assignments filter count greater than zero Instead of needs update, this is the submitted category. Oh, and then assignments.filter, right? So we'll copy this code, paste. Um, ooh, that did that break it? Awaiting review. Oh, this should be awaiting. I messed it up. And also we have code down here that should say no assignments found div. So I messed up. So now it says no assignments found. Um, I did the wrong uh, filter here. It, oop, it should not say submitted. It should say uh, in review. In review? Wait. This is submitted. Oh, I put status equals A? Why did I do that? <laughs> submitted. No. So if I'm filtering by submitted. Oops. If I'm filtering by submitted... Yeah, this makes sense. Awaiting review. So assignments and assignments filter, assignment status equals submitted, count is greater than zero. If it is, then it should go in here and render this stuff. In review, in review. Were there none that were submitted? And then what's this one at the top? This one is actually in review. So let me add this, this code. So assignments and paste assignments filter should be in review here in review okay so i've got a problem so why was it that the last one was the last one just working because it looked like it worked but it was actually wrong i guess so i have a i have a there's a there's a bug with my uh with my filter clearly so i'm going through the assignments and i would like to see the um Oh, let me see. Set assignment data. I want to see. Uh, no, that's an update. When we query for the assignments, which is here, I want to do a console log on the assignments data. I just want to see what the output is for assignments data. There's three. So status. So the dot. Oops. Right. Dot status triple equals in review and submitted, right? So when I filter, I'm doing assignments 
So we have assignments and we're filtering. So maybe it's not count. Is count the wrong thing? Because assignment.status triple equals in review. We have those that are in that status. So I feel like that's correct. Is it like size? Or size like that? No. Is it length? It's length. Okay, that's my problem. Cool. Well, I guess not cool, but cool that we figured it out. So, um, the, and this is the problem with copy pasting, because now I have the same bug copy pasted three times. I need to update it three times. That's really annoying. So that's why we need to refactor this code. So boom, length is here. And then down here, uh, count should be length. And also uh, the no assignments found div should be brought up to this guy up here because I have an empty guy. So boom, no assignments found, um, et cetera, et cetera. So basically if I claim this last one, right? Once I claim it, it needs to change the status to be in review, but then it should also move it into the in review section, which it might do now. Let's do the, uh, the beautiful test to see if this works. So assignment three, when I claim it, it should pop up here and we should see assignment three in review. Claim. There you go. Assignment three is now part of the in review and awaiting review is now no assignments found. Bravo, ladies and gentlemen, I am the best. So um, obviously there's some more tweaks that needs to be made, need, uh, need to be made here. Um, once the assignment has been claimed, then you should be able to go into an edit view for uh, code reviewer edit view, right? So the code reviewer edit view should contain um, the ability to add a comment or to add the video URL for the final code review. And then they can flip it to say, I'm done the code review or flip it to needs update status, right? So, um, yeah, those are sort of the steps that are remaining and we're getting, I don't want to say we're getting close, but, uh, we're certainly making great progress with this simple app. Um, and yeah, I look forward to uh, seeing where we go for the next lesson. So if you enjoyed this video, as always, please do click the like button. Helps the whole YouTube algorithm thing. Helps me get the word out to other coders to help them out uh, so you can pay it forward to your friends. The best thing is it is free to click the like button. And um, yeah, if you want to get notified for all the future videos that come out in this series, as well as all the other series that I will create in the future, please do subscribe to the channel. You can do so by clicking on my little round face or whatever that might be appearing above me right now. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and click on that to subscribe. I'm sure you know how at this point. So thank you so much for being here. Take care of yourself as always. Happy learning and bye for now.